In Puerto Rico, it's been 10 weeks since Hurricane Maria's devastating landfall. But one Chicago woman living in San Juan still feels that impact every day. Today, our Aaron Kennedy, who's been traveling with the Cardinal Blaze Soupage there, sat down with Jen Loria to talk about her struggle to recover from Maria. You know, I spoke with a lot of Puerto Ricans who said they were glad that the Cardinal came to visit the island, if for nothing else, because it put their struggle back in the headlines. That daily struggle continues again two months after Hurricane Maria. That story is especially true for one Chicagoan who now calls Puerto Rico home. Jen Lauria moved to Puerto Rico from Chicago in June with her husband to take over the greenhouse kitchen and bar, a restaurant that had been in her husband's family since the 70s. They were excited and hopeful. Then Hurricane Maria hit. They had to shut down for 45 days. They lost half their staff. Quite honestly, we've completely lost touch with. We're not sure where they've gone on the island. And so we've had to hire new people, train new people. But the ones that stuck it out and waited for us, we're so very thankful that they stayed and waited for us to reopen. In fact, according to some estimates, as many as 200,000 Puerto Ricans left after the storm. Now, Greenhouse Kitchen and Bar is back up and running thanks to a massive generator out back they call Nessie. But even though the lights are back on, the struggle is far from over. People have had to really dig deep emotionally to stay here and battle with the changes. And I think as a whole, the, the people, the transplants like myself, uh, will all be stronger in the outcome. Jen says she just hopes that when the dust finally settles here, that the Puerto Ricans come back home, but also the tourists, so that they can experience this beautiful island firsthand. Reporting in Puerto Rico, Erin Kennedy, CBS 2 News, back to you. Erin, thank you.